Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, to come out for such a cold day, but for such a great concert. Unfortunately, what we see in Middle East is reflection of power struggle between Western countries and previously Eastern countries, which is Russia too. Both of them, both sides, via one side via Iran and uh, Hezbollah and Hamas, and the other side are pushing the war, killing the people via Israel's government. That is, the situation is very, very, very dire and very sensitive now. It does not stop in this point. It goes to a point that bloodshed will be part of daily life of these poor people. Palestinians have no crime that they should be bombed like we saw through the, all these 15 days that's happening in Gaza. But the Israeli government found excuse, found really good excuse to really go and kill innocent people. The pictures we see, the, the innocent people's pieces body, shattered bodies we see because of their bombing is indication of one important thing, which is we need to raise our voice and do not wait for any government to come and do something about it. We don't need governments to do something about it. This is what all these governments made in this, our lives. We have to stand up for our rights, for our life, and for our kids, and for every innocent person on either side, in Palestine side and on Israel side. That's why what we demand is the first thing is stop the war and both sides, they have to pull their army, every single soldier, every person who holds a gun to kill innocent people to go back behind their uh, borders. This is the first thing. The first step is ceasefire that they should not be allowed to really throw even one bullet toward the, uh, either side. Unfortunately, because of the power that the Israeli government has, military power, I mean, more innocent people are killed in Palestine side. But we are against killing anybody by the, any government or any religious, non-religious, what they call them, terrorist groups, whatever they are. Because I don't see, we don't believe that just Hamas is terrorist. Israeli government is as terrorist as them really. That's what they do. What we care, what we want, what we really care about, and what our hearts are working for is only innocent people. They should not be sacrificed because of the power struggle that both sides are really behind it. Look, what happened in, in uh, Israel and Hamas, they did to each other right away. Joe Biden went there and they declared shamelessly, they say, we want $61 billion to give to Israeli government. They like it. They benefit from it. War, war, war has to stop right away. A ceasefire is the first demand that every single person, every person who, ha who has heart for society is demanding. The second one is, if they want the European governments that officially and shamelessly they are uh, supporting the Israeli government. They have to stop and they have to draw, withdraw every soldier, every military equipment they have and they brought it to the area, they have to withdraw. The other thing, the very important thing is this. First, Palestinian has right of having own country, just like Israeli, like anybody else. And it is only done by, instead of say, sending those military equipment and support to declare that both sides have their own government and they deal with their own issues. These people are able to do it and they will do it. Let them to do it instead of sending more military equipment to Israeli government to kill more innocent people. This will continue for not just today, 
not more 50, 15 more days, but for 15 more years and 15 more centuries. This is voice of people with heart, people of the, anybody who wants peace in the area, real peace. Real peace is only done by recognizing both sides, equal right of having their own government. The rest has to leave the area. The rest, they have to entirely leave them alone and leave these people alone to govern they, how they want and what they want. That is one thing. The other thing at the end, I would like to say, we condemn any kind of, any effort, any military plan, anything, any effort to increase the military presence by either United States or by backing up by the government of Canada or European countries and directly by government of Israel and Hamas too. If the, Ira the uh, Americans don't send an Iranian government who is one side of this whole, this massacre of people, massacre of thousands, cannot find good excuse for themselves to send military equipment for Hamas. We have to stop them and we have to guarantee that these people are respected, these people's, are, uh, people's life is respected and their right is respected and we don't need any of these governments to decide for these people. They cannot and they should not and they should leave these people alone. Peace and peace and peace and ceasefire right away. Thank you so much.